my channel my name is Kayla and if you are a lover of natural hair fashion beauty and lifestyle make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos to come and follow me on Instagram at the okay Kayla so in today's haul this is a little bit different because this is a festival inspired haul and Shein is hosting their second annual virtual music festival this Sunday on May 2nd from a few artists that you guys know so make sure you guys check that out so I'm just going to show you guys a few festival inspired looks so let's jump into it all right, so I'm already wearing the first item, and I love this crochet top. It fits as if it's like just a regular bikini top, and the colors are so pretty. You don't really have to wear nipple pasties with this because it's kind of like thick right here in the crochet area. So it's not really see-through like that, but it's super lightweight, and I love it. And the colors are just really pretty. Like this whole fringe thing is super cute. Next, I have another crochet top, and I actually have more than one crochet top in this haul. So with this one being the second one, it is a lot more... Next, I have another crochet top, and I actually have more than one crochet top in this haul, which definitely screams festival vibes to me. But with this crochet top, it is pretty see-through, but I love how long the fringe is. Like, it's literally the same length as me, and I'm pretty sure, you guys, I'm 4'11", but I do like the whole long length. And plus, with this one, you know, you can kind of style it up and knot it in the middle or put, you know, knots on three sections if you want to. And I end up wearing a strapless bra under this one, so just to show you guys how that looks in the back with the tie. Again, this one also ties as if it's a bikini top. And honestly, these crochet tops could high key be swimsuit cover up, so also keep that in mind. But I love how this is designed. It's a really cute top. You also can wear nipple paces if you want to with this, but I prefer a strapless bra. Next is another crochet top, and it's not as see through as the last one, but I still decided to wear a strapless bra under, and I love the whole two tone look it has going on. This one's a little bit more. Um, fitted or smaller it doesn't have as much stretch as the two last crochet tops but again it ties the same way and just another cute festival top next i have another top and i've been loving these tops these whole little color blocking um tank tops i've been seeing a lot of body con dresses and skirts with this type of design i think it's super cute now with this one it came with like another strap i'm not even sure if it's supposed to be connected like this spaghetti strap is but I just took it tied around my neck and tied it to the other side. You know, it came up with my own little funky design. But <laughs> I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. But again, I still love this top. And I love the whole little lettuce trim it has on it. It's so cute. Next, I have this simple black bandeau top. And it has two long black strings on the bottom. So, you know, you can do your whole little own crisscross design that you want. Which I did. And just tied on the back. It also would probably look better with something that's like not as high-waisted. So, you can kind of like really show the whole crisscross design. Since I'm wearing my own little high-waisted shorts, but you know, this is probably supposed to just calm down just a little bit more. But I still love this. Now the top is really, really small, not gonna lie. So I don't think this would probably be for my super busty girls. Unless you know you can really tie them tight. I'll probably wear like a strapless bra and then put this on top of it. But yeah, next I have this lime green snake print top that you can wear the tube top if you want to. It also has a little cutout right here in the front, or you can take these two strings. And simply just tie it around your neck like so like that but yeah this is super cute like this too kind of gives me like swimsuit uh, material feels to it low-key shows a little under boob which is okay you know but yeah this is a cute top Next, I have another wrap tie top. And you guys know I love tops like this, so that's why I got another one. But I really like the print design that's going on with this one. This one also gives me festival vibes. You know, you just simply tie it in the front and you're good to go. Next, I have this simple white lettuce trim top that just comes over the shoulder. And I love this top. It's super stretchy and it feels really good. This is just a simple cute top. Like, honestly, you can just wear this casually. Like, this isn't even just festival vibes. This is, you can make this a classy top, honestly, you know. Put some little jewelry with it and you're good to go. Like, honestly, this is a simple little fit right now. So, love it. Next, I have this pink top. Now, this is a little risque because if you make wrong, wrong move, your boob will probably pop out but if you're not busted like me you're still gonna love this top this is a super cute top it's already pink which is my favorite color and this also feels kind of like swimsuit material but this is like a really perfect festival vibe right here too so i love 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 all right now last and tops i have this little tie tie of uh, all right, last the tops, I have this like tie tube top uh, looking shirt. I'm not too crazy about it only because it's like really, really thin and it's not like the rest of the quality that I have in this haul. So the print is cool. 
gives a little psychedelic vibes, I guess. Now, what I did do is still wear a strapless bra under this one, and I actually ended up tying this front part attached to the strapless bra. So, if you have any tops or like a scarf that you want to wear as like a tube top, I definitely suggest wearing a strapless bra under it. And when you tie it in the front, make sure you tie and loop it with the bra. So that way, it just completely covers it and it looks as if it's just one unison um, top. But yeah. Next, I have this beautiful romper. Now, this is giving me straight boho festival vibes. I love the print that's on it. It has this satin feel to it, which I love. And it kind of has like a little squirt, little flap right here. So, cool little element. Next, I have this abstract watercolor dress, y'all. Now, this was completely out of my comfort zone, but it ended up looking super cute. And I love how it fits and feels. Love the whole little tie that it has going down on the sides with a little cutout. So if you have a little belly ring like me, it'll be able to make a little peekaboo appearance. But yeah, this is this is banging. Like I love this dress. Next is another dress, and I love this, but I'm not really sure what the print wants to be. It's like it wants to be cheetah print, but I'm not really sure. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little close-up look. But this is also a really cute made dress. I love it that it has you know total rouge design. So if I want to lower this a little bit, I can, but you know, me being me, I'm not. <laughs> love the ruffles on the end. And it fits great around the butt, so I love that. And it fits really good, too. Next is this bright orange two-piece set. Now, I'm not too crazy about this because I feel like it should be, you know, a little bit more fitted. It's giving very baggy, and I'm not too crazy about that. But this is also a little skirt that goes with it. But again, like I said, it probably would have been a lot cooler if it had pockets and was fitted. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, but it's bright orange, so. <laughs> and last but not least in this haul, I have another two-piece set that honestly could act as a pajama set too low-key because it's super cozy. But it's just a black knit set with white stars all around it. Fits great. Love this. I don't know why, but I feel like wearing black espadrilles will look really good with this too and i have like some platform black espadrilles and i feel like that's what will make this look but yeah so this is the last item in the festival inspired haul i hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know what your favorite item was in the uh, comment section down below and everything i just showed you guys is in the description box down below as well and again don't forget to catch she is virtual music festival on may 2nd this sunday so check that out and i will also leave the code right here on the screen for you guys to use at checkout when you purchase some of these items and yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on instagram and i'll talk to you guys later in the next video bye